two rupees this year one with oh, it's one rupee or what <laughs> oh you want to give it to me like if you are giving me my payment for the year <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Road to Valley Run. As you've seen in the previous episode, we were doing testing last night and we've had a couple of problems. Our dear Laura is uh, showing an EPC light, but it's not losing boost. So we're just going to check out what is going on. And we also had a problem with the apart, which is also going to be taken care of in this episode. Today, we are going to be doing pretty much most of the prepping and most of the decorating of the cars. And it's going to be a great day. Hopefully, no more problems. Let's go. Yes, so after a quick ECU read, we have figured out that the car was actually over boosting yesterday. And uh, we don't know. It might have been uh, an optimistic view from the coding point of view or it was just a one-off thing uh, we're just going to hope that it doesn't happen again but if it does happen again there's nothing to worry about we can fix it with another reread as the epc light was gone soham took the car out for a short spin to check if everything was fine with the car a big shout out to bridgestone india for sponsoring us yet again for our third year in the valley run now you must already be familiar with tires like the Balance B series or the performance oriented Potenza line of tires or even the comfort oriented Turanzas. But Bridgestone has now come out with an all new tire specifically designed for our Indian roads. The Bridgestone Cerro comes with some state of the art tire technology, stuff like a carbon tread compound with strong reinforcements, a double ply construction wall and 3D tread for optimum grip, better safety and all weather usage. What is more impressive is that the Sturdo compared to its competitors has 29% more tire life and when it comes to designing this tire, Bridgestone India took into account the usage of the average Indian consumer and this tire is specifically made for our Indian roads. So if you're looking for a tire which has amazing grip, all weather usage and amazing comfort, the Bridgestone Sturdo is the way to go. So the EPC has been cleared now. Last night, apparently it was an over boost uh, problem. The car was producing a bit too much boost, more than what it was intended to. Very weird. Uh, Niranjan thinks it's a one-off fault code. So I don't think uh, it should be that much of an issue. But just for safety measures, Niranjan has told us, go out, do a couple of practice runs. So we're heading to Mexico again. And we'll be doing a couple of more practice runs just to see if... Uh, the EPC warning light comes back on again because even last night after the runs that we did uh, the car was running fine it was not in limp mode or anything like that I guess it was just like a one-off thing where maybe the intake or something just sucked in a bit too much air or something like that so let's see what happens and let's head to Mexico and do some nice runs so Draghi has been connected I'll keep it here handbrake is on we have this clear stretch over here in Mexico City. It's a bit of an uphill. That felt pretty good. And it's pretty hot outside, so it doesn't feel as fast as last night because the air, ambient air is definitely much hotter than what it was last. Last night it was like 15, 16 degrees makes a big difference when it comes to intake temperature and everything. Let's try it once more. No, oh, let's see the draggy timings. I completely forgot about that. So we didn't do the quarter mile. We didn't have enough space, but we did one eighth of a mile in 10.95 seconds. Zero to 60 in 9.23 seconds. Not the best timing last night. 
I was able to do 0 to 60 in like 6.6 .6 seconds. So, yeah, a big difference. I guess the car is still not running that well right now. I'm not sure. Or maybe this uphill was just a little bit too much. Yeah, it's quite steep as you can see. It's a very steep uphill. car seems to be fine i'm not sure if it's running good like the intended amount of boost but uh, because it felt a little slower than usual maybe that's down to the uphill maybe that's down to the ambient air temperature not too sure so let's head back to the workshop and what we are going to be doing today is we're going to be stripping out all of the interior of the car so we're going to remove all of the seats and everything even my tire and wheel setup is going to be different you're seeing these RS3 rims and a different set of tires. Uh, we are going to switch them out for new speed rims uh, from Niranjan's Octavia VRS because they're much lighter and the tires that he's running are also much more grippier. So that wheel and tire combo is going to easily save me like probably 20 kilos uh, only in the wheel setup. So that will make a big difference when it comes to drag racing. and wheels especially make a big difference because it's rolling inertia so the lighter your wheels are the more basically the better axle that's more acceleration for you basically at the end so that's going to make a big difference so now what we're doing is we're doing the weight reduction we're removing the back seats the step knee we're going to be removing the front seat but we won't remove it here we'll remove it during the races so at least it has some practicality while going over there and let's see what else we can remove maybe the door cards a little bit so let's see for now i'm just removing some of the carpeting let's get cracking <laughs> Once the seats were out, I decided to go for a short spin and well, Dhawal wanted to experiment a little bit. So Dhawal is now sitting in the back. I don't know how he's going to sit in the back. Look at it. As Soham and Dhawal were out to check how the car performs without the seats, I got cracking with the Zen, stripping out its interior. It was quite an easy job to do as we had already stripped the car once when we were detailing the car inside out. Yes, update, quick update. We are uh, starting our weight shedding procedure. So as you can see, the Zen is a two-seater now and pretty much all of it is out. We had a five and a half kg sound system in it. The bottom uh, row of the seat was super heavy. So that's one car done. The Laura has been uh, completely stripped already. The back seats and the rear boot is completely open. It's pretty fast. We went for a drive as uh, you may see. 
and we've also got Yashab's car, the Verna, ready with an intercooler right here. And uh, it's gonna be really simple. We're gonna be loading a new file into it that uh, considers the intercoolers uh, numbers and we are going to be having much more power and much more breathability from our Verna this year. Next update is the Fabia. As always, we encounter problems and somehow we've misplaced the factory file of the Fabia. So we need to figure first, find the factory file and then we're going to be putting this car up to stage two. It's going to be a pretty good rocket. Once we were done, we took the Zen out to check if we could feel any difference and boy oh boy did it pull. So the car has been fixed, my EPC light is gone, I've removed my back seats and my step knee and all of that stuff. The car is feeling amazing, definitely it feels marginally faster. Uh, apart from that, Niranjan's Fabia is going to get uh, a recovery map, so we're trying to find the original file somehow. So that is going to get recovered and once that is recovered, we will be installing the stage too. But all of that is pretty much stuff that you've seen already. You don't want to see a bunch of laptops and everything being uh, tested. So what we're going to do is we're going to head on to whatever work we have. And once all these cars are done, we'll shoot another episode for you guys if needed. The next video is mostly going to be the BMW X5 M50D getting remapped. So watch out for that episode. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Also, before I sign off, a big shout out to Downshift Store for giving us this amazing looking team kit for the Valley Run this year. I know this stuff looks absolutely amazing, so stay tuned on Instagram and get to know more about Downshift Store. We've shared all of their social media links down in the description.